Well, now that most kids are back in school, a lot of parents busy this morning getting the lunch packed for their kids, hoping that they're going to eat it once they get to school. That's such a big <laughs> question, though. Um, so what do you pack, parents, and what do you know your kid is actually going to eat when they come back home? Kate Whitehall is live with some helpful tips from a local dietitian on healthy lunches. Because, Kate, I'm with you. Every time my kids say they like something one day, they don't like it the next day. I know, and it's always the worst when they come home and you open up their lunchbox and you're like, why didn't you eat this? You asked for it. And well, I don't know. So I talked to a local dietitian who said, you know what, try to get like grab and go items. That might be your best bet. She said things like what we call squeezies in my house, uh, a banana, even she said carrot sticks. Maybe give some, some uh, ranch dressing, try to get them down that way. But overall, she said the idea is to be able to get bite-sized items. So think like things like cheese and crackers, grapes, apple slices. Plus, for busy parents, cutting up a bunch of items might not be possible because you just don't have time, right? So if your kiddo wants a little dessert, the dietitian recommends things like pudding or jello for its low calorie count or yogurt-covered raisins since raisins have a compound in them that boosts your energy. And for the picky eater in her family, the dietitian recommends foods that have added vitamins and minerals. I would stress that if you can have your child consume at least one healthy food a day, even if they're picky, um, that's important. So if they like orange juice, then make sure to get a fortified orange juice. If they like a uh, cereal, that's a little bit higher in sugar, make sure that it's a fortified version of it. And if you're a parent who likes to read labels, I know I do, she said to make sure you look at two things in particular, the carbohydrate and the sugar number. She said anything more than 20 grams, it's too much. Look for something that's less than 15 grams. All right, let's talk about breakfast because chances are right now you're about to wake up the kids, get them breakfast. She said you want to think about carbohydrates and protein for breakfast to keep them full. She said a yogurt stick, great thing to be able to have in the morning. Also, peanut butter, something with peanut butter. I think bagel, maybe a piece of toast. Uh, you know, it's a tricky thing, parents, right? I mean, we find something that works, then it doesn't. And, you know, it's kind of a crab shoot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is, especially when I have to. And you have three. Like, one person likes this one, the other person doesn't like that one. What do you do? It's got to be tough. Right, exactly. Okay, thank you.